Hey, hello, hello, this is Max and welcome back to a Let's Play series of Final Fantasy XIV. In between, we are between Stormblood and Shadowbringer, and we're doing kind of the patches that were usually actually deployed between actually two expansions. And in this case, we have six to go, and we are in the first one, second episode. So not even halfway of the first one, first patch. 4.1 which is called the legend returns and we're going to try to accelerate that and figure out if we can power through it at least so let's see how it goes hope you like it if you do so you know what to do just let me know in the comments below what you want to see and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the videos i appreciate all your support and we're a small channel we're kind of a starting so anything helps so thank you very much and do this. Where are we going? That way. There is a big wall. No worries. We can fly. So yeah, we are planning to go into the 90s actually to finish with the uh, Walker, but there's still two expansions to go. So. We are not even there yet, actually, so we are kind of, uh, I don't know, 116 episodes and we're finishing the second expansion just, so. All good so far. It's an awesome game, long one, and plenty of things to do if you want to get lost in Final Fantasy. Um, the community is awesome. Everybody's so helpful and yeah. Oh, good. Uh, nothing bad to say about the game, actually. It's uh, RPG, like the ones that we used to have, and these are long and hardcore MMOs, RPGs, actually, so you can do plenty of things here and spend years in this kind of game, so... Um, what's the next one? Oh, there. And also now I have the ability to stream, so let me know if you're kind of uh, feeling... Uh, um, to stream, actually. I'm in Australia time zone, actually. That's the only downside, but... Uh, Um, yeah, I'm, I'm keen to try it. Um, I know that at the beginning actually you need to stream to zero people anyway, so... But some people come and go and start building from there and if you want to be on camera, on camera it is. Um, so yeah, that's, that's an opportunity that we have. To see if we can do that. I need to connect a couple a couple of things to bring the chat into the screen. Uh, but once that is done, we can go live. Which I'm planning to do with Lost Ark anyway, so... Sometimes we're going to do a weekend session and we're going to go live and play it live. Um, it's either that or I will keep recording um, episodes. I know that we're going to start on the 8, so... We're going to start playing on the 8. I'm not going to stream on the 8, but I'm going to stream that weekend, actually, of the 12 or something like that. I can stream that week. Um, or I will keep recording and then posting afterwards. And the problem with the stream is that you turn yourself into entertaining actually and you leave a little bit the game behind and then you focus on your on your people coming in um, or you can have a boring experience because I'm playing the game and I kind of focus on playing and doing all the things on the game and sometimes I don't speak too much so it's kind of finding the right balance I guess, and and it's also MMOs actually. These these are 
you need to sit down, think and play and do actually little stuff. Um, and sometimes that is not appealing to too many people. <laughs> So I don't know if I'm going to put it actually live. Um, that's it's not a risk, but that's a. Um, and I can not stream for an hour. If you want to stream, you stream for three, four hours. So that's also actually the availability of um, ourselves actually to have a setup of three, four hours. I haven't done that since division, so. Um, so that's another thing, actually, if I can sit and do all the stuff. Oh, there is a thingy here. Hello. What the hell is this? Oh, it's from 12 to 17. And we're currently... Not open yet. So, okay. Let's leave it there. It's time-based. we kind of 8 p.m. in yours, yeah. for answering my summons in these most interesting times. You have been busy. The liberation of Alamigo will have far-reaching consequences, and there is a matter upon which I would seek your counsel. I speak of Rauban and his future. know the tale of his rise from penniless refugee to member of the syndicate and general of the immortal flames yet though he has come to call Uldar home it will never be his homeland he is a son of Alamigo and now that she is free I thought it only a matter of time before he sought my leave to return to her indeed I had resigned myself to his loss Suffice it to say, I was greatly surprised to hear him speak so lightly of handing over the reins in Alamigo and retaking his place at my side. I will welcome him with open arms, of course. He is my most trusted advisor and my dearest friend. But I have known the man a long time, and beneath that steely gaze, I spied a flicker of doubt. Whether Rauban chooses to remain in Uldar or return to Alamigo, I only wish that he do so with a heart unburdened by guilt or regret. Yet, how can he freely make such a choice, knowing how much I depend on him? It is past time that I learn to discharge my duties as a Sultana alone. I must go forth and see my realm with my own eyes, and hear the wind with my own ears. Might I have your company for a brief adventure? Oh, God. Sure. We can do that. Wonderful. Allow me a moment to change into something a touch less conspicuous, and I will join you outside. Okay. Where are we going? Um... On this one, you need to salute. So we might need to have our thingy here. Somewhere around there. So on this one, you might need to press that, but at a specific time. 
And in this case, it's for 5 a.m. and we are kind of 9 p.m. So I hope actually we can come back here. Oh, there is another one there. Look at that. How are we going to make that jump? Oh, jeez. Did we try? No. Leave it there. Uh, where do we go? There-ish. Adventure skill. Uh, okay. What do you want? There. Yeah, I'm not going to do these kind of things because I know they are um, not hard, but there are actually um, extreme dungeons. Hey, look at that. And we can see all the... That's also in 40 minutes or something. It will open. This one specifically, it will open. Not now, for sure. So starting from here. Uh, yeah, probably not this one. Yeah, not that one. But also, if you if you join this one, I don't think he's gonna let you unless you kind of go astray and all do the run around. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this. Nope. Um, but. We shouldn't be able to fly. <laughs> That's easier. Um, the, the problem here is that this is not open. It's also a lookout. If I can put it there. Where are we? There. It's not that one. It's not that one either. It's probably the third one. This one. This it opens uh, from 12 to uh, 17, so it's going to be in 30, in 38 minutes clock time. So we might have a chat actually to do this one. Um, somewhere. And do we need to ground sit in order to deliver that? We'll see how it goes. Yeah, with flying it's very, very simple now. Let's just go there and do the, the proper emote. And we should be okay. So that's the mission over here. Alright. What do you need? I will keep track of it, but it's 38 minutes for the thing to open which is at 12 p.m. yours your time um oh um mm. need to go back All right, let's go very quickly. That's something I learned actually probably 40 episodes ago when I needed to... You go into the big kind of crystal thing and from there you can trigger the 
the network. You don't need to go into a small kind of crystal to trigger the network. That was um, interesting <laughs> when I learned that one. Theory was a good turn. The first one was good actually. When you get rid of the saver, you turn around. That's a katana move. And in 40 minutes, I need to start my transfer of my character. The danger is too great. Please, Your Grace, come back. I beg of you. <laughs> it seems you're the one who needs looking after, Master Shum. <laughs> Grab on! Your Grace. I have kept the promise made. So you have, and in turn, so too shall I keep mine. With your winnings, you have become one of the six most wealthy souls in all Ulda. And so, as tradition dictates, Rauben Aldin, you have earned yourself a seat on the Syndicate. May your new station garner you still greater glories. I am honored, Your Grace and vow to serve with every fiber of my being from this day to my last. Oh, I got a feeling... <laughs> Long live the Sultana! This is not gonna long... This is not gonna end well. <laughs> As I said, actually, in, in probably 40 minutes, uh, the transfers are gonna open so we can move into um, Sofia in this case in Oceania so we can get better ping so FYI we're playing in Sofia now from probably tomorrow I don't know how, how long does it take actually but I'm gonna initiate the transfer probably today Oh, great, dead end. <laughs> okay, what's the closest? Um, oh, there is a lot of side missions there. Closest is here. Yeah, that's a problem particularly because my OCD says you don't need to have anything pending but you need to learn how to let go <laughs> especially in these kind of games um, the problem with that sentence is that I get a feeling that I left actually something behind or some content that I was locked by a side mission um, what I don't like is that when those blue kind of icons trigger an, an extreme dungeon and I don't want to play it, I cancel. I need to cancel the blue kind of thing and it goes back to the origin. But I went and I opened the extreme kind of thing. So you will see blue icons everywhere because of it. And I decided not to pay attention, but they bother me. <laughs> 
actually there are kind of things like this that one for example it says hey there is content to be opened and I say yeah but I pick it up I went to the end and it's an extreme dungeon which I'm not going to do so there is no possibility for me to hide that kind of mission in here in the J kind of thing I cannot hide it and also uh, I need to delete it because I will never do it and when you delete it it comes back to the origin which is this kind of thingy and stays there because I'm not going to touch it <laughs> and then my, my brain is oh shit we are leaving content behind by the way I don't I don't know where I'm going actually. Well, that is a extreme kind of dungeon. Where are we going? Airship. Casting strip. Okay. Merchant strip. Ulda. How do we go there? It's a gatekeeper, but where? We are there. And if we go the Ulda steps, where is the gatekeeper? Central hosting. a good question not clear airship so where is the freaking airship do we have a kind of a locator or something that I need to go to strip merchant strip Hosting strip. Well, head lift. Okay, cool. I found a little lift, which is there. It's not clear. It's over here. Airship landing. There you go. All right. Where do we go now? I do the changes every two a.m. What? What the hell are you talking about? I don't want to do that. I'll talk to you. To the gold saucer. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, all right. Do we take a ticket here and go to the gold saucer? Yes, please. A little bit of adventure.
I'm going to try to speed it up. Tennis duty, so four to go. Four to go to complete most of the things here. I'll get a statue. Okay, what do we have? Where are we going now? Uh, Jesus, uh, Kugane. Kugane, okay, let's go. Yeah, four to go. I think we're going to complete it in this pass. So, uh, all right. So we cannot. Uh, we cannot. Just go through here. And I have that one. I don't know how to get out there. No, I should have traveled. It's gonna be a short trip. There. <laughs> Just one station. Yeah, that, that thing on the outside is also a, a dungeon. I have done them all actually. I, I went there and everything and we end up in a kind of dungeon do it kind of thing. And I said nope. Extreme? Nope. Not interested. Ulda? Really? Resolved. Talahan. Ulda. And I hope that ping, as you can see there, I'm I'm getting a ping of 130-ish playing in Japan. And now moving to Oceania, I would like that ping to go down a little bit. <laughs> it's not that affect us, 100 is still okay. Uh, but yeah, we'll see if that actually improves. Similarly in Lost Ark actually, because we don't have servers in Oceania, I need to play in USA West, which kind of sucks because last time I did that um, in Division and similarly as well, got a 100, 150 ping. Um, but I learned how to play with it. So in Division, we shouldn't have a problem. So in Lost Ark, we shouldn't have a problem as well. So we should be okay. A personal summons from the science. This must be important business indeed. Though, if it concerns anything so underhand as an assassination, I fear I can be of little help. <laughs> you have made your point. It is indeed unsettling to find oneself seated across from an impassive mask. There, would this better please your grace? Or should I address you as Lady Lillera? Hmm? Nay, the deception has served its purpose. I am glad to see you found amusement in my little jest, Lord Lollorito. But shall we proceed to the business at hand? 
By all means. I must say, I am most eager to hear your proposal. Simply put, I would aid the refugees camped in Thanalan in their efforts to return to Alamigo. The reparations you paid in the wake of your earlier misdemeanors will be used to fund the endeavor, together with the fortune seized from the late Teleji Adeleji's estate. But this plan is not intended to benefit the displaced alone. I would make of this an investment which shall enrich Uldar and Alamigo both. And who better to consult on matters of profit than the wealthiest man in all of Thanalan? <laughs> I beseech you then, Lord Lollorito, share with us your mercantile wisdom. Ah, <laughs> It would seem your grace has matured beyond acts of earnest yet misplaced charity. Pray tell me more. To summarize, in return for facilitating the repatriation of refugees and assisting in the establishment of new industry in Alamigo, you ask that a proportion of all subsequent profits be promised to Uldar. Huh, I am impressed, Your Grace. Tis an elegant solution. Albeit one lacking certain crucial details, specifically which industry and where. How swiftly you identified the weakness in my plan, just as I knew you would. Your travels have taken you across the length and breadth of Gear Abania, and you know the land far better than I. Which of the settlements you visited would best provide a home for our refugees? Oh. Which has the greatest potential to flourish, given the appropriate investment? Hmm. Which one? Alagiri, Alagana. Or the Saltery. Saltery. Ah, yes, that desolate little village on the shore of Loch Seld. Yep. I know the Saltery and its products well. The Imperial invasion brought an end to their more widespread distribution. Much to the dismay of many a wealthy gourmand. Myself included. Salt has ever been a transformative ingredient. And in this instance, I dare say, it could transform a modicum of effort into a mountain of gill. The local citizens will need to be consulted, of course. But I trust the East Aldenar Trading Company can be relied upon to provide its assistance in negotiating a mutually beneficial arrangement. Naturally, Your Grace. I shall dispatch representatives well versed in the extraction of this white gold and wring every last ons of profit from its production. The Loch's bounty will contribute to Alamigo's enrichment whilst easing the burden on the bull's aching shoulders. Just as Your Grace desired. A deal is struck then. Okay. Securing the sultry. Alamican quarters.
Yeah, these are the little soul kind of thingies. I don't understand. Okay, what are we? The jaw. Again. Great. Oh, the eye. Okay, cool. Done.
it's done. Uh, two to go. Two uh, quarters. Yeah, we should be able to complete this one um, in this chapter. At least patch number one. We should be gone in 10 minutes. With flying abilities, it's a little bit easier to traverse. Apologies for the wait. People are screaming for the butcher's blood again. No sooner have we broken up one mob than another forms. Thankfully, all have been amenable to reason, thus far. But it is no concern of yours. We must speak of the men Arenvald and his comrades apprehended in the peaks. By their uniforms, the captives were first judged to be Imperial troops. But after further investigation, their true identities came to light. I dare say you remember Yu Hassi and Laurentius, the fugitives who conspired with Captain Ilbert in the Crystal Braves' betrayal. Aye, well, it would seem they followed him all the way to the Wall. It was they who orchestrated the slaughter of the Resistance fighters prior to the Griffin's infernal ritual. Were it in your hands, how would you punish these men? Uh-oh. Uh, uh, mm, sure. Can not kill them? <laughs> There's no options. Here, here. There is no more fitting sentence for the perpetrators of such a massacre, and that is but one of their crimes. In any event, I thank you for your honesty. When the time comes for the Alliance to pass judgment, I'll see that your opinion is heard. Well, that concludes our business here. But there is more I would say. Walk with me. Uh, are you gonna come back or...? Queen is waiting for you. I bear a share of the blame for Ilbert's atrocities. Had I openly supported the cause of Alamegan liberation, he might not have felt driven to do what he did. Things could have been different, and I'm sorry they aren't. But even after all that has happened, my homeland is free. With the Scions and the Alliance at their side, my countrymen have reclaimed what many thought lost forever. Under her new leadership, I have every confidence that Alamigo will emerge from the shadow of the Empire and rise once more to greatness. What are you going to do, mate? Which Are we coming my back? Work here is done. Soon I will return to Uldar and Good. take my place at the Sultana's side. Good. Father. I'll not deny there's a part of me that wants to stay. The same part that contemplated renouncing my rank and joining you as a wandering sellsword. But I pledged my blade to Nanamo, and I will not betray that oath. Good men. Is this truly what you want, father? It is. Ever has my sword been hers to command, and ever shall it remain. Thank you for lending an ear. When all the rest are clamoring for me to stay, I trust you'll send me on my way.
All right, this is the last one. Last mission of the patch. Or well, patch number one, actually. Are we inside? Yes. Good, more hate. And then... Down. Straight to target. So we actually we're gonna finish in two episodes, patch number one. We're actually speed running. We're not earning any XP. Actually, it's just passing the story so we can start Shadow Bringers and start gaining more um, gear and stuff, and we can move into the 80s. Even though we're kind of nearly there on 76, so. Thank you all for coming. I am Lise Hext, and I speak for the Resistance. Among you are village elders, refugee leaders, envoys from the Ananta and the Kikern. You've come from every corner of Girabania to help decide the future of Alamigo. But before that, I want to ask you a question. What was the first thing you noticed when you came in? For me, it was that empty throne. It has no one to sit on it now. No Viceroy, no King. Would any of you like to take their place? Or should someone else sit there? Then let's sit here in a circle, as equals. And I hope, as friends. Ah, oh, you still need a king. <laughs> Regardless. Expertly done. Lise has removed monarchy as a choice early in the game and positioned them to consider a joint government. All things considered, I would say events have got off to a fine start. And that is Alagana's stance on the matter. Thank you, Regenfrid. Another vote in favor. Next, let's hear from Shanti of the Kaliana. Tell us. How do your people feel about the idea of a republic? The Ananta wish only that those who dwell within Gia Abania devote themselves to our faith. You shall all worship Sri Lakshmi! Are you sure? Lady of Bliss, grace us once more with your beauteous visage! Are you sure you want to hold that? <laughs> No 
crystals were allowed through the door. We can worry about the how of it later. We need to evacuate these people right now, or the primal will make thralls of them all. It's up to us. Primal. See us all enthralled. Then they're going to be sorely disappointed. We have the Warrior of Light and Arenvol to shield us. Aye, but they can't well defend your guests and attack the Primal, can they? We're stuck on the back foot. Uh, all right, I think I have an idea. Keep these people safe, General. I'll be back as soon as I can. Where are you going? Make it quick. Come then. Who will be next to die on my steel? Do we want to engage? Yeah, we want to. All right, this is finishing probably. Be warned. Oh, this is going to be one of those. Use deflect. Use either the action deflect to dissipate the ether spheres. Lakshmi released during battle. So where is the um, where is the release kind of thing? Oh that one. Deflect. Okay, cool. Alright. Didn't saw that one. So that and that.
Holy shit. Your hate. Holy shit. <laughs> Before we miss one. Yep. There are too many of them. Oh, are you? <gasps> what of it? Do you want to kill this thing or not? Yes. Yeah, we do want to. Go for it, mate. Kind of you know, your souls weigh heavy. 
60, 59. Now it's just gonna hurt. Fifty percent. Six. Bye. We, we did it! Now look at me. <laughs> Ouch. She want to pick it up. We need your help. What is this? I'm only going to say this once. The Ananta just summoned their primal in the throne room. My friends are fighting her, but they need help. They need someone with the Echo, and by the gods, I wish I had it, but I don't. I told you before that you still had time, but things have changed. I need your answer now. You can end it like Xenos, or you can fight for Alamigo. Your choice. You're in. You're hot. You can fight. And you have the echo. Easy. Seven hells.
make your mind, she helped. forgiven. Not you. You I will never forgive. But I will thank you. For standing against a primal and saving us from servitude. Japanese drama made it's hard Fine spot to contemplate the heaven. The meeting is over. The envoys have chosen to instate a government modeled on Ishgard's House of Commons, a ruling body of representatives elected by the people. It is a fair decision. And one which signals the end of my part in all this. Where are you going? Done. Pick him up. Forget something. Your Grace, I... There was no word. Alden, you are hereby dismissed as General of the Immortal Flames and relieved of your seat on the Syndicate. But you're great. Raubon, I am no longer a child. Stay here in your homeland. Work with your brethren. Rebuild Alamigo. You desire to stand alone. I understand, but... Remember what happened. I remember full well the consequences of my naivety. And thus did I consult at length with the most trusted advisor ere I embarked upon this course. A most trusted advisor? 
And what of me? Am I no longer deserving of your confidence? What trust can there be between us when you withhold the truth from me? Did you think me oblivious to the anguish in your eyes when you spoke of returning to Ulda? What? What? <laughs> For years and years, we have trusted one another. Yet now you refuse to confess your heart's desire? What? I swore an oath to you that day on the sands. I pledged my sword. And it has served me well. But in Pippin you have forged a new sword, as sharp and deadly as the blade you bequeathed him. I will show you a Sultana who can wield every weapon at her disposal, including Lollorito and his monetarist cronies. So follow your heart, please. You are home. You are free. Bro, oh, this is pure drama. <laughs> Japanese style J drama. Hi. Ah, oh, hold it. That was a tear. Oh my god. I would have this parting be a joyous one. How can you resist that? Thank you, Your Grace. It has been an honor to serve you and Ulda. Tomorrow you will serve Alamigo and fight for the good of all Eorzea. Am I understood? Yes, Your Grace. Thanks for shielding us from Lakshmi, you two. If you hadn't been there, the rest of us would be worshipping her by now. You're kind to include me, Lise. But we both know who did most of the work. No shame in admitting it. The Warrior of Light has put far better men than me in the ship. Oh, it was not us, mate. that I encountered the Sultana in the palace? It would seem her grace has come to Girabania to oversee the final stages of her relocation project. She was in search of General Aldin, and I directed her to the rooftop garden. I do hope you were still there. Are you in the habit of gossiping about the affairs of royalty, Master Leveilleur? Certainly not, Your Grace. I, I was merely informing my companion. Beauties, Alpha Note was only a jest. <clears throat> but I must yield the floor to Raubon. He has an important announcement to make. As of yesternight, I have been relieved of my post in the Immortal Flames and the Syndicate both. We are leaving people behind. I shall be assuming my father's duties. And may I say that Tizona has never felt heavier upon my back. Would seem I am in need of employment. Mayhap one of my old acquaintances can introduce me to a mercenary company or some such. You may be getting on in years, Father, but you'd struggle to find a band of cell swords who wouldn't snap your hand off. Your remaining hand. <laughs>
Yes, the bull of Alamigo need not be put out to pasture just yet. <laughs> Your grace has developed a wicked edge to her humor. So, does this mean you're staying? Aye. That seems to be the way of it. I would be glad to aid you in rebuilding our nation, if you'll have me. If, he says. Welcome home, Raubar. was unexpected, though you seem distinctly unsurprised. Either you are more astute than I give you credit for, or I'm losing my touch. In any event, one thing is certain. Alamigo will rejoice at the homecoming of her dearest son. And that, my friends, is uh, patch 4.1 called The Legend Returns. And we're going to close with the delivery of the final thingy. And that will be the chapter of today. And I appreciate all your support and likes. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next episode. So let's deliver this and close the subject. This is the start of patch 4.2 called Rise of a New Sun. And let's close this one. Very quickly. And we become ready for the next patch. And there are six patches actually to go through. That's it. She'll have an achievement called More Heroes. Which is the achievement of the first actually patch. And obviously opening, opening the second. That's it too. What the freak? Let's go gun it. Oh, that's more.
that's it so that's patch number one um and i will see you in the next one so thank you very much and that's it for now bye bye